Hello everybody, have you missed me? It's been a little while since I've done one of these. I'm here in Eaglesham on a beautiful day. There's Nelly in the distance. There's Oscar. Oscar, say hello. There he is. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd do one of these to end the season. I stopped doing it for a little while, partly because uh, my season all went down the toilet and I couldn't quite muster the energy to talk about it all. I've gone from the uh, end of the season on about 190 something. So I ended on my lowest rank, so I just could not uh, pick myself up at all. I had, um, you know, as, you, as some of you may remember, I was on about 18K. I think my highest the whole season was 8K. But I was kind of steady in the 20s and then it all just kind of torpedoed in the latter half of the season and then just kept going downhill. But anyway, I want to do a quick review on that, talk about some of my learnings, which, you know, may be useful for some, may be shared by others. I'm just throwing the ball at the same time for these poor deprived beasts. What do you want? What are you looking at? Go. We're also going to announce the winner of the Game Week 38 Top Dog League. We had a fine winner who's going to be the recipient of a beautiful t-shirt, which I shall uh, show pictures of. So congrats to him or her. So quick moratorium on the season. I think that's how you say that word. Um, basically, I took the Game Week 31 blank game week. I think that was the game week. You'll know what I'm talking about, though. Blank game week, free hit. Um, Oscar, give. Go on. Give. Give. He doesn't like to give the ball up. He loves it. Um, so I took the free hit there with the idea of dead ending, transferring into double game week 32, and then free hitting in blank game week 33 in order to get the blank game week team and then also prepare for the double game week 35. Are you with me? Probably not. But anyway, funnily enough, it all went wrong in the places you wouldn't expect and right in the places you wouldn't expect. So the blank game week 31 score, which was a free hit team, was 22 points. And it was an absolute disaster. And I think for the first time in my FPL gaming history, I didn't get a single return from any player. Uh, be that clean sheet assist or goal, obviously. What else would it be? Um, so that was, that was my free hit team. So where that was meant to make me grand, it didn't. But then actually I got a green arrow on the 32 where most people were free hitting. And I had just simply transferred into that. Um, so I think I was kind of evens by the end of 32, so I didn't think the strategy was that bad. Where the strategy went to absolute shit was game week 33 wildcard, which was a fucking shocker. And the problem with that is I was trying way too hard to, club, to cover the blank game week 33. So I piled in with a lot of Southampton and Arsenal, which were teams that were playing the blank when I say a lot, I mean three of each. So those were teams that were playing the blank and also uh, doubling. So he's like, yeah, let's get myself a Lacazette, let's get myself a Ramsey and a Kalasnach and a Gun and a Bednarak and a Ward Prowse. Let's get all these players, you know, because they had a great kind of uh, track record of getting loads of points. And, you know, I really have learnt something there. Blanks and doubles are not the be all and end all. You know, if you're wild carding or transferring or doing anything, essentially you should be following the same rules you're following at any other part of the season. Get the best players with the best fixtures. You know, Bednarak in three games is probably not gonna score what Laporte scores in one. Lacazette, in 10 games, he's not going to score. He's got one assist in about six or seven game weeks that I had him. I showed immense and totally ridiculous patience with the man. You know, he's not going to score 
Now Vardy was my one success story. He, 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 I'd be, I'd be in the millions by now had I not transferred in Vardy, because uh, he was an absolute godsend for me. Uh, and I cap and, captained him a couple of times as well. Oscar, there it is. Right. There is another dog, Nelly, but she tends to go very far away. Nelly, come back. Have you got the ball? Okay. Better find that. Um, right, I lost my thread now. Lost my thread. So I will show you a bit of this little forest. So I will leave and try and remember what I was talking about. But any other things I've thought about this season? Well, the beginning of the season, uh, I showed a lot of patience and that did me really well. Uh, kept it on the same captain a lot of the time. That was one of my theories that you don't miss the hall so much if you just stick with one captain. Certainly over, let's say, five or so game weeks. Uh, stuck with people like Sterling, who I bought in and had three pretty much blanks and then started scoring ridiculous amounts, I think 21 uh, after the, my third or fourth game week of him. Um, but then in the second half of the game of the season it was patience that screwed me. I stuck with Son way too long when it just was not happening for him. I stuck with Lacazette who I should have just jettisoned straight out of there. Um, stuck with other people as well who I've forgotten. Um, and so I think I do still think patience is a key. I think we, a lot of the time we move stuff about too much, but I think patience has to come with form, you know, and I think players do play in streaks. Um, and I think we know when they look good and we know when they're scoring. Um, and in that context, of course, yes, yeah, Son, Sterling, Salah, they might miss, you know, they might be unlucky for two or three games. And I think the key then is to, is to stick with these players. But I think once the form is not there, and actually this is what begun my decline was I stuck with Martial who I got in instead of Pogba when Solskjaer took over and uh, this was really the beginning of the decline because I just stuck with him I didn't want to uh, take a hit for some bizarre reason I stuck with him for about five or six game weeks he got nothing 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 I mean he wasn't even playing for 50% for of them and I finally took him out on a minus eight I think and that was when he got his brace. But then he didn't score any more after that. So it was the right decision to get him out. But I should have done that four or five game weeks before. And that was kind of the beginning. I, by that point, I was on like 70, 80,000, having been previously on, you know, in the 20s. Um, so I think what I would say is patience, I, I really do believe, is the key. Uh oh, dog poo. Right, better go. But I think patience combined with eye test is how I'm going to try and play next season. Good luck, George. Thanks. Uh, form versus fixtures. Form. I'm just talking form, isn't it, really, aren't I? Classic. And I fell for it. Hook, line and sinker. Bought Pogba in for Sun in the final game week. I thought, he's got to score against Cardiff. Uh, and it's that classic thing. Even though people were telling me not to do it, I wanted to spend all my money. If I got Redmond, or Sigurdsson, or really anyone, there's loads of people returned on that final day, Bonanza. But, you know, I knew it was dead over there at, at Old Trafford, no offence to any Man U fans. Um, and, you know, I did hear that Pogba hit the post, so perhaps uh, in, against Huddersfield, so... And looked okay, so you know, maybe I'm being kept in hindsight here. Uh, and it, you know, you got on a bit unlucky as well, but I, you know, I regret that decision. And that was one of the things that meant I ended on 190 rather than I don't know, 150 or whatever. Not the only thing, but you know. Um, so yeah, form, 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 I guess is what I'm saying. It's uh, very profound. Sure no one's thought of it before at all. Right, can anyone spot my dogs? Somewhere 
down this hill. Oh yeah. Come on then. Come on then, Oscar. Come on. Ah, the last thing I'll say is try and play for enjoyment. This is what I realised. So I, my wife played for the first time this season and at points she kind of gave up and couldn't quite be bothered. So I uh, took on her transfers and her wild card. And her team did much better than mine. It's partly because I was just, you know, I was playing without any kind of inhibitions and just going, well, who are the players I quite fancy? You know, I got in Decore for her, who's always someone I've never owned and always seems to do well. Um, Rondon. Uh, Salah, uh, who I didn't own at the time. Um, who else? I think I got a Laporte for his double game week bonanza. Um, and I just got a players that I kind of fancy, but oh, for whatever reason didn't want, you know, didn't think I should own or didn't own or whatever. Um, it just made me realise if you play with a little less inhibition and just kind of play a little bit for enjoyment and play, pick players you like. Um, you know, actually, you can not second guess yourself so much and actually end up. And also, picking players you like and quite fancy and just think are decent makes the game much more fun. You know, I remember back, I wouldn't say this anymore, but I remember Sterling used to be a player I strongly disliked because, you know, before last season uh, and this one, he was very streaky. He would miss a number of open goals and couldn't pick an assist out of a lineup. I remember owning him a few times and even captaining him. Then watching him mess up was really painful. I, I realise it's different now, though he still has that capacity. Um, and so you kind of go, rather than owning that player, pick, you know, a KDB or. Um, you know, whoever you, you happen to think is is a decent player. And then at least then you're watching someone you enjoy. Right, so the last thing I will do is announce the winner of the Game Week 38 League Top Dog. And I will show an image of the T-shirt this young man is, is lucky enough to receive. So let me just uh, get his name on him. So congratulations to Liam Lane, at FPL Liam Lane. Uh, I'm going to cross this river as I tell you about this, so uh, I'll try my best not to uh, fall into it. Uh, he got 84 points with a hit. Very, very decent score. Top score in the league, uh, the league I set up, which had about, I don't know, 20, 30 people in. He did very well. And uh, I will be sending him a t-shirt which is about to pop up on the screen just here um, and uh, yeah well maybe we'll try and do this next season as well see if we can keep it going it's a good kind of like uh, consolation prize for someone who's maybe not doing so well which is how I felt and, uh, coming up to the last game week of the season um, yeah so great chatting with you guys it's been fantastic being part of the FPL community this season it really, my, it's my third season playing, but my first season really is a part of the FPL community. Uh, I've been really uh, touched and appreciated by all the kind of uh, exchanges I've had with people, by the followers I've managed to get, and by the reactions to uh, the videos. It's been really fantastic. I'm really, I can't wait for next season. So thanks to all. Uh, you know who you are. And uh, yeah, get, put, pop a comment against this or... Uh, Send me some of your own videos. Let, let, let's all have a kind of chat about what we learned over the season and, and what, we can, what we can use for next season to do a bit better. All right, lots of level. Oscar, hop. Hop. You meant to catch you off the bench. Nelly through. Hop. Wait. Through. Catch it. Look. Nelly. Right, I'll have to do. Bye-bye all.